a reading. This morning's reading is from the New Testament, uh, the uh, King James translation, translated from the King James Version of the Holy Bible by the Gullah people, Gullah culture. As usual, we pick out a space. Shall we? St let's stay in the beginning. I mean, I know I've been all over the state of being. Let's move down this couple of pages here. Let's see. Uh, still in Matthew here. I guess Matthew starts the whole thing out, doesn't he? And I guess in the context, Matthew. Yeah, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans, Corinthians, one, uh, two, Corinthians, Galatians. Is somebody? Uh, Philippians, uh, I think that's Philippians, Colossians, uh, some, some, some Theo, some, some, two second Theos, one Timothy, two Timothy, Titus, Philemon, something like that, uh, Hebrews, James, uh, one Peter, two Peter, one John, two John, three John, three John, okay, check him out, uh, Jude and Revelation. So let's go to page, uh, well, 39, and we'll go to, uh, well, 21. This is a long one. Oh, boy. What am I doing? I need to put my glasses on. I don't even know why I'm trying. You know? Okay. Uh, Matthew 11, 21. Isay egon be a hand for the oban ona who live in Korzai. In the Bashida, cause of the people were live in Tyre and Sidon, been seen them miracle with a bena do far owner. They been gonna change their sinful way. They been gonna wear choker, a uh, sack, and rub an ash. On the head and stay down for the everybody, everybody know they done change their way. This is Matthew uh, 11, 21. Well, yeah, Matthew 11, 21. Woe unto thee, Corazon, Corazon. Woe unto thee, Bashida, uh, for if the mighty works which were done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, uh, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. Whew. Hey, we do these twice. Sorry, that's the way it goes. So here we go. Again, I'm I'm, I'm reading uh, I'm reading out of the Gullah Bible because I'm trying to get this whole mind here. How would it would be like to just be a freed slave and then you know try to learn how to read especially from words you don't know or anything like that. So this is a gullet. I don't know. It, it works for me. It's, just, it's it's an experiment I've been doing for, I guess, this is like maybe the third week. And I'm going to keep on going as far as I can, even when I start traveling. Uh, Matthew 11, 20, 21. He say he going to be a hand for far honor we lived in Khorasan and in Bathsheba. Because of the people who live in Tyre and Sidon, been see them miracle with be, uh, been do for honor. They been going to change their sinful way. They been going weak, choke a sack, and rub ashen upon the head and sit down for let everybody know they done change their way. And the translation is, well, English translation or the old English translation, you know, Bach tended to Marlowe, you know, Shakespeare kind of sh translation um, from that king, you know, he's like an editor. I mean, I gotta watch some editors though. Well, okay, no, let me leave them alone. Woe unto thee, Corazon, woe unto thee, Bashira, for if the mighty works which were done in you had been done in Tyre and Sodom, they would have repented long ago and sackcloth and ashes. There you go. Words. 
translations. The Gullah culture. Just, just me letting you know what, what, what I feel, you know, me, me being T from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.